Hi, it's Ed from Throw Punch Games, and it's time for another unboxing. And today we have Mythwind. All the Kickstarter stuff. So let's see what we got. Let's start with the base game. Then we'll get into the other fun stuff. It's a cute game. Interesting. It's a co-op game. That's asynchronous. I am, uh, I am intrigued. You have my attention. So what do we got? Right away, that catches my attention. We have all these different characters' journals. How to play, learn to play, set up how this, this character sets up and what they do. Day phase. Yes, I can read cursive, but I hate reading it. But I'm glad they give that. Let's look at another. How about the farmer? Day three, so it's a little bit different. Different complexities. Oh, I like when they give me the components. And how this player plays. You have the merchant and the ranger. You have our town charter, where we begin. Overview. How to learn how to play. Town section, components. The first game set up. Basic concepts. Look how they kind of walk you through everything nice and slow. End of seasons, goals. There is a tech tree for buildings. I like it. How we save the game, continuing the game, secret envelopes, those make me happy. There's spoilers if you wanted to pause that. Got us a map, old school. Art. Oh, there'll be punching for all the different characters. Their tableaus and things. Have the different component saving areas. Have the one for the town. With different tableaus for everybody. Pretty sweet. And then we get stuff here. Now, I'm not going to open these. That looks like secrets. So we have a bunch of cards. Decently written up. We're going to hold off on everything because I believe there's secrets in here. Requisites. Oh, these are my envelopes. All right. And the things that happen. Little seals. Got some interesting dice. Blue and yellow dice that either have people or butterflies on them. We've also got some really well made miniatures. They're pretty chunky, too. Got a ranger. Got a tradeswoman. Farmer. That guy looks like my dad. And I, who is this? Some sort of town person. Who gets a book? Oh, the charter. Or the, is that the crafter? Maybe that's the crafter. That's the base box. Let's see what's in the other toys. Maybe. Careful. I am intrigued, Open Owl. This is the Winds of Magic. What does magic bring us? 
front and back. A little bit of expansion. Goals, events, adventure, building tiles, season tiles. We get some new buildings. That's fun. A little mini kind of expansion going on. All fits in one of these little packages. I hate half cards. Not gonna lie. <laughs> My fingers are still fat. We're working on it, but uh, nope. I hate them. Okay. I am intrigued. I have to read all this and put all the toys together. We also have the magical miniatures. The box came with miniatures. I wonder what's in here. We are very stuck. These come out. I promise I'll be good. Careful. There we go. Maybe. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. These are some magical miniatures. Got a little fairy thing. Got a little poofy guy. Different looking poofy guy. Little ent dude. Little fungus frog man. A little rock guy. All right. I wonder what the magical miniatures do. And I have the expanded horizons. Let's see what this is. Chunky box. We now have the innkeeper. So we have somebody else who does a completely different game. What's in here? Buildings. For tokens. Oh, I'm seeing fantasy creatures here. Have her component box. She gets a fancy bag. And again, more of these cards. So we're going to hide these. And a fancy miniature. I'm interested. This is Mythwind. For an open all games. Can't wait to get this one to the table. Okay, I finally sat down and played Mythwind. What do I think? Well, the, how you play this game... Every day is three parts. There's a morning phase where we reveal new weather. And the weather has a track where events can happen in the town, depending on the time of the year. Then you also may have new events happen, like reading parts of the story or other crazy things. After that, you have individual daytime actions where you can go to the, the town itself. And after that, you do stuff on your board, depending on who you play. There's up to five different characters, and everybody can play completely different independent uh, people in this town anytime. After you're done, we have nighttime, and again, it depends who you are. I was the innkeeper. The innkeeper would have to do all kinds of things, make sure the patrons could go in and get have a good time and earn money. Uh, my wife was the explorer. She didn't really do it at night, just kind of rest. So, and we keep doing that till we play all the way through the weather of a year and, or of a season, and we flip the season, we keep going forward. This game, I will tell you right now, is a mood game. What I mean by that is you have to be in the right mood. This is Stardew Valley with friends. And I mean that. You're all building this town and building different things independently yet together. And that is an interesting mix. Now, mechanically, I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. The pieces, the hardest part of it is, I never felt like I was succeeding. I played Stardew Valley, the, the, uh, the computer game, and I felt like I was gradually building up. Here, with the different characters, I just kind of felt like I was spinning my wheels. 
and we checked the rules, went online, did stuff. It's just, it's definitely, you're not here to like kill the bad guy and be done. This is a longer game where you're kind of build up slowly. And that might not be everyone's cup of tea. Thematically, five out of five. Uh, I felt like I was in a weird little village building up in the middle of nowhere. Solid fun. Uh, in terms of, uh, rules, the rules, I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. Why? Well, everyone gets their own booklet, which is pretty well done. And we have a big booklet, which walks you through. But this is a, a weird mix of, is it the rules or is the mechanics make me feel like I spun my wheels? Some of the characters, it's fairly random. And even if you're doing anything right, it still might not go out, go well. So 4.5 out of 5 for rules. Execution, 5 out of 5. There are tr individual trays for each of the characters. They stack. They've got covers. It's, you cannot play through this in a setting, in a single sitting. Uh, if you played for like three hours, you wouldn't be done. As you kind of build through. Again, there's no end. You're just going through this town and encountering things and having stuff happen. It really is just like, Here's a village. Go have fun in it. Build it out of nothing. So, execution five out of five. This is a good 90% game. I love it, but I don't know if I'm going to play it again. Because this is the board game equivalent of sushi. What I mean by that is, I, I love sushi. Fantastic. My father hates it with a passion. So even if I took him to Michelin Star Sushi, it's not going to be, he's not going to enjoy it. If you want a very kind of relaxing, low-key, kind of maybe cottage core of experience, this might be it. But you're building. Much like gardening, you can do everything right and it just doesn't go well. So solid game, uh, Open All Studios. I'm at Throw Punch Games at Throw Punch on Twitter, Throw Punch Games on Instagram, Facebook, uh, TikTok, and Threads. Like and subscribe for your content and contest. Thanks for watching.